Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. I've talked about many things that I'm not qualified to talk about in this channel over the past 10 years that you've been watching. One of the largest things I've talked about that I am not qualified to do at all is, uh, I don't know, basic electronics or parent theory because I did not get a degree to do any of this and I could not even pass chemistry in high school without cheating and I could never get past the basic engineering courses in college. But uh, today I'm going to be talking about something that I'm even less qualified to talk about than anything else I have. Dating. I'm going to answer a question from the Discord in the Letters to Lewis channel. I'll leave a link to that down below from somebody who's, you know, been a decent contributor in the past and asked some interesting questions before. Uh, I did not expect this response to get as many comments and messages as it did, so I figured I'd make it into its own video. This letter is a question. How do I get women? I'm the wrong person to give you an answer to that, I'm afraid. So my response was as follows. I don't know. I own a world-famous business, deadlift two and a half times my body weight, and have 1.7 million subscribers, and still don't know how to get women. So fuck if I'm in any position to help you. You're barking up the wrong tree. What I'd suggest is you go out into the world and live a worthwhile life, and let the dating part come naturally. If it doesn't, at least you'll be able to see that you did a bunch of cool shit with your life, that you stood for something. Women tend to be attracted to men that have provided value to the world in a tangible way, that have improved their small corner of the world to the point that they might seek you out rather than you having to do the getting all on your own. This can also serve as a consolation prize, so that if you're still single in your 50s, being alone doesn't sting as much. At least you'll have a lifetime of cool memories, accomplishments, trials, and tribulations to look back on. But there is a chance you'll find someone along the way. Trying to find a woman by just going out and looking in my experience is going to be massively shitty. The people you meet and end up dating as part of your personal life adventure tend to be much better clicks. And I would stand by this answer. Now, to be, again, if, if you want advice on pickup artistry or any of that horseshit or dating coach stuff, not me. You don't want my advice on that. You'll, I'm just... Not, not even close. But when it comes to what the focus should be with your life, I wouldn't put the focus so much on finding a girlfriend or finding a woman or finding a wife. I would put the focus on living the best life that you could possibly live. And there are a bunch of things that are going to happen as a result of that. I was really socially awkward as a teenager. I wasn't the guy that was going out to parties and hitting on random women and getting numbers left and right, nor was I the person that was installing a dating app and actually getting matches or anything like that. So what I did is I worked on focusing on myself. I worked on, you know, working at a world-class recording studio studio. Now I had the story, I have the story to tell of me showing my little self-made Seamoy headphone amplifier to Roy Hendrickson in the elevator as I'm going up to interview with Tino Passante and him mentioning something to them that wound up allowing me to get that internship there when I was 17. Or, you know, I have the story of working at Progressive Music. I have the story of trying to start my own business. I have the story of starting my supply company. I have the story of opening a store and the experiences of opening a store and working in this business and really focusing and grinding on it led me to realize all the problems with repair stuff and all the problems with the pair stuff led to me testifying at legislatures and all of this, these different things. And um, all of that kind of gave me a story to my life. But not just that, it allowed me to pick up little skills along the way. I think it would be fair to say that I'm less nervous talking to women now than I was as a teenager, partially because I have to talk to customers. Sometimes those customers are really mad at me or they're aggravated or they come from all different walks of life. That experience was experience that helped me when talking to people that I find attractive or interesting. The experience of going in front of a legislative body where there's 100 people behind me and eight cents senators in front of me and I only have three minutes to get across my point without stuttering, you know, once, once you've gotten through that, yeah, just talking to some woman you have a crush on is pretty simple at that point. The experiences that you're going to gain as a function of trying to do something with your life are actually going to be experiences that, uh, that make you more fit for when you do actually meet the person that you want to have a life with, that you want to date, that you want to go out with. You'll feel more comfortable talking to them. You'll have more things to discuss when you actually do go out with them. You'll have, you know, just a wider breadth of experience to be able to to draw from when it is you're trying to come up with things to do together and all different stuff like that. And above all, again, if you, you go out there and you try to seek it, and my, again, this is just my experience, and my experience is not the experience that applies to everybody, it just doesn't work well. It feels weird. It feels transactional. It feels blah. Um, I chose to focus on my life. And what I've noticed is that the women over the past 10 years that I've gone out with or had relationships with have always been people that were part of that journey. And those have always been massively, massively more interesting than some, I don't know, random OK Cupid match or somebody that I asked out at a bar or some crap like that. There's always been some something more substantive about it. So what I would suggest to you, and this is the answer that nobody ever wants, wants is uh, don't focus on getting women. Focus on living the best possible life that you can possibly live. What is your corner of the world? Focus on cleaning up that corner of the world. Focus on making that little corner of the world that is yours the best corner as humanly possible so that as many people who are within proximity to your corner of the world 
are benefiting from the fact that you exist. And I think when you do that, everything else will just kind of start to come naturally. Again, are you going to have, you know, fucking Shakira show up to you and, like, have a crush on you? No. Like, that's not going to happen. I'm not promising you anything like that. And if you're saying, there's this woman I like at work, what do I say? Or there's this person across the bar, what do I do? I, I don't fucking know. I have, like, seriously, you're asking the wrong person. I will give you the wrong advice every single time. Because I have no idea what the hell you're supposed to do with that. And honestly, at this point, I just don't care. But what I'm saying is that if you are living a life where you are consistently refining your skills, consistently having new experiences, consistently doing things that just make the world somewhat better, during that journey, something will naturally happen that is going to introduce the person that you should be with into your life. And it's more likely that it's going to be successful, in my opinion, and also in my experience, which is completely anecdotal, is doing it that way than it is, you know, fucking sitting and doing this shit all day and just like, but, ugh, it's just not, it's, it, it's, I find it, I, I personally find it to be demeaning and I don't, ugh, I just, I just don't want to do that shit. But what I can say is that you'll be better off than if you are just going out there and just trying to pick up random people. And at the end of the day, here's the thing. Even if this fails to actually get you a partner, you will have an amazing life to fall back on. Whereas the people that I know that during their teenage years and their 20s and their mid-20s and their late 20s were always out there partying, banging, like trying to find random people to, to go out with and hook up with and shit like that. They're in their 30s and they don't really know what to do with their life. Some of them are moving back in with their parents. They're kind of wandering aimlessly and shit like that. And some of them, after all of that, actually wound up single. Uh, so they don't have the life to fall back on and they also don't have the relationship to show for it. So at the very least, even if you don't actually get a woman out of trying to make your corner of the world better or living your best life and all that, at least you can look back and say, man, I lived a charm life. I lived an awesome life. Look at all the cool shit that I wound up. Again, even if I wind up staying single right now into my late 30s, early 40s, I'll be able to look back and say, I kind of lived a cool life. Again, there were a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of stress, a lot of aggravation, but it was a cool life. I'm going to have a lot of cool stories to tell somebody in the nursing home someday. And uh, that, that matters to me. And I think that that's also going to matter to the people that are looking for a quality partner into the future. If you are like actively seeking somebody, it just feels different than it does when you are trying to produce whatever it is you're trying to produce in your corner of the world. And you just so happen to bump into somebody along the way that you find interesting. It's going it's, it's to be a lot better. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. And best of luck on cleaning up your corner of the world.